Hello again, we are back with part two of What Remains of Edith Finch. Part one was yesterday, and part two is right now. Um, so we've made a little bit of progress. Uh, we've got a little bit of our family tree filled out here. We're obviously Edith at the top there, and uh, we're exploring the house, uncovering all these bizarre bedroom shrines. Um, and we've uncovered that because this family is pretty cursed or at least they think they are um, they certainly do have some bad luck put it that way um, but so Odin uh, seems to I think he died on the sh on the boat or uh, they crashed up uh, on the journey over from Norway uh, and then Edie uh, and Sven um, so Edie was Odin's daughter and then they had a bunch of kids. Uh, so Molly was the first to die. Molly ate holly berries and toothpaste. The, didn't end well for her. Barbara was a child star and then died because of a ho home invasion. Reading between the lines. Um, or possibly... Possibly... Uh, a horrible boyfriend, we're not sure. He may have been framed, we don't know. Uh, Calvin uh, swung himself off a cliff. Um, and then his twin Sam died much later in a hunting accident. Got bucked again, actually, off a cliff uh, by, a, by a deer that wasn't quite dead. And then Walter, bless him, sealed himself up after witnessing Barbara's death uh, for 30 years. And then seconds after stepping outside, gets hit by a train. So, it's all gone, it's all gone not great for this family. So we're in Sam's room right now. Here we go. Um, wow. And you know, obviously it was tragic, but it wouldn't have happened if he hadn't killed things. Um, goodness me. Well, there we go. All right. So we came in through this door, so let's see. Oh yeah, there was a... Yeah, look, a little cubby here. Let's just make sure there's nothing else we want to look at here first. I could not, I couldn't sleep. There's death in the air in this room. It's very, very pungently stinks of death. So Kay was, Kay was Sam's wife, I believe, according to the family tree. Not really sure what happened to Kay. Oh gosh, there's more there's more on the inside of this house than there is on the outside. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, and of course, we now know that Edith is pregnant. And uh I guess that's what kind of prompted her to come back to the house after so long. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They both lost a lot. Yeah, understatement. Okay, child gate. It's gonna do a lot. Oh gosh. Maybe I would just maybe seal that up. You know, there's no need for the Waynes to go crawling around in the crawl space. Looks pretty dangerous to me. Gregory, Dawn, and Gus. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh. Gregory was not very old at all. <sighs> and. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet. Gus was. Not much. Not much better. This family. Seems to. Um, they seem to be. Seem to be closer to death than they are to life, that's for sure. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, pretty dangerous, but let's go have a My look. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. <sighs> Via climbing wall? At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Okay. It's a cute little room, though. I mean, a little bit cramped, but... Oh, dear. Okay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. 
I mean, I can see why. I can see why that would be the case, for sure. If you've had so much tragedy, you'd probably want to make sense of it in some way. I well, can't imagine cute. what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost two brothers. Oof. Oof. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh. Well, she deserved... deserved something good to happen. I don't... I love the idea that all of this would just be completely preserved for so long. Don Finch. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. Slide down the pole. I think we've got to go check out the twins' place first. Let's go. Who kept adding to this house? Okay. Uh, who first? This is... What a choice. I guess Gregory first. As unpleasant as this will be. Oh, so Kay and Sam got a divorce. Okay, well, what does it say? No, 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 no. I just wanted to, I just wanted to read it. Give it back. Give it back. Okay, it doesn't really seem to want me to do that. Dear Kay. Oh. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. A frog. Oh, so cute. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Whee. Bath time. This is a big baby. Look at the size of his legs. Are you seriously leaving your kid enclosed in a bath? This is less than a one-year-old. Lady. I, I don't want to shame you, but... I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. Yum. What his world was like. But seriously, never, ever, ever leave your kid alone in the bath for even a second. Not even a second. Sure a Roy. Goy. Go. G. This. Not loving it. Oh, we've got to do it. Okay. Right. Yep. I know how silly it sounds. But I worried about a baby being too happy. That is a bit silly. Whee! Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Sorry about that, Greg. Oh, thank God. I know you did everything you could. What? Hold on, I don't want Stop to... answering the phone. Oh, God. I wish you could have told us. 
How would he? How would he even manage that? I feel quite ill. Quite ill. About everything. It does a really good job of making quite awful and macabre things. Uh, what happened? Sound quite cheerful. I, I mean, I'm, it's, it's not entirely not anybody's fault. I'm sure it's happening. Good luck, that's Kay. dark. That's dark. Luck, Sam. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh, poor baby. Okay, Gregory, and I next to uh, Gus. I'm sure it's equally as happy a story. Oh. So smiley. Okay. What you got for us, Gus? Something to do with kiting? Punk? Who's to say? A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. <laughs> my father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Now, whose wedding is this? Did... Sam remarry? I suppose he must have done. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom. There you go. That I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh wow, that is it's not. Looks a bit washed out, guys. There we go. Okay, didn't see that. Um, no what? When the time for photos there we came, go. Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. All right, we're not, we're not gonna. Then the wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Whee! Tent day. Which is over... Oh yeah, there they all are. Oh, here we go. Oof! Yep, it's pretty windy! Not ideal. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Yeah, I would be getting out of the weather, everyone. Maybe... The thunder yeah. sounded much too close and full of angry power. Oh my gosh. But Get all inside. Said to this was make the music louder. And maybe stop flying a kite. Just maybe. Oh gosh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not ideal. Whee! What? Oh, there we go. Oh! Ooh. Okay. All right. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Eep. But I didn't, until we found you. Why was he out there alone? So what happened? She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. 
Oof. So, something to do with the storm, clearly. Got, he got, I don't know. Well, the, the totem had, f I don't know. Maybe got crushed by some debris or something. Okay. Well, pretty tragic, everyone. Um, just, just a pretty awful set of circumstances all around. Raise flag, breakfast, quiet time. Greg, be a baby. Run to mailbox and then. A hundred crunches? Bloody heck. Alright, I think if we go up here now, I bet there's gonna be a, a way out. What a way to have to go to bed every night. Ah, here we go. Alright. Let's go. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Wow. Can't blame you for wanting to get out of this place. Oh, nice. Well, at least they've got some so what the heck? At least they've got some solar power. Um. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Mm. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Oh, gosh. And to see kids in the house again. I don't think I'd want kids in the house if this if kids in the house had a medium age of like seven or eight. I wouldn't want them back in the house. I'd want them far away from the house. Mint, thyme, sage, basil, basil. So loose herbs. Milton had a little kind of city skip. And Edith had little figures. Oh, Dawn had seedlings. Okay. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. How did it get bigger? Who made it bigger? And did they have planning permission? Something tells me no. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Oh gosh, okay. So who taught them? Analyze objectively, never stop learning, assume nothing, respect criticism, apt to ask tough questions. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Um, Edith, Barbara, Gus, Molly, Sven, Sam, Calvin, Odin, Gregory. Loose rules. <laughs> this is a pretty cute little classroom. Have to give it to them. But Odin didn't last. Of course not. The curse. Kind of weird to be doing history lessons on your own family. I guess if you have that knowledge, makes sense. Classification of living things. Okay. Scientific method. To teach and to learn. God, they all wrote books, didn't they? Oh. How did they have time to publish anything with all this family tragedy going on? Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. As you do. Most of us are out here not being able to afford a flat, but yeah, have a castle. Um, okay, we can't go in this way, I'm assuming. Yeah. So what happened to Milton? Alrighty. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Yeah, and he was pretty talented. Pretty, very talented. Wow. 
lots of paint. Keeps going up. Is he painting the highs? Kind of. Taking inspiration from the highs anyway. The magic paintbrush. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. And disappeared. It's not too much of an explanation, but looks like he almost went willingly. Did his fine final little buy and everything. How old is he? Hmm. This music's beautiful though. No, we can't go back down this way. Can we? Oh no we can. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Yeah, that door right there. Oh, is it the footprints look? Like but they're walking away from the door. Hmm. Nowhere to. Back out the window, I guess. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oof. Oh, heavy. Okay, I guess we're going further up. Oh, this is rickety. Very rickety. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. Why would you blame Edie? Oh, because of the castle? Mm. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Okay. Oh, nope. Stairs to nowhere. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is not very safe. Living in a boat this high up where there are known storms gonna be a no for me just get far away far away from this house Lewis's room smelled very very familiar <laughs> that part of him lived on well, seems like Lewis lived a bit older than uh, than the average. That's good. no, 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 no. Stop the animation. No, I was just looking. I was just looking. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Okay. Lovely. Thanks. <laughs> Lewis had a good thing going on. Look. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Seems like his mind wasn't really on them. Is that a boiler or a fridge? Fridge. Huh. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, a yoga bowl. You use those a lot as a pregnant person. Um. Okay, we got we got some some weed here. We got a microwave. Microwave. Got. Wait, where's the? Oh, I was like, where's the TV to play the games on? Here. This is quite nice, quite cozy. He was so proud of being Indian. Oh. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. <laughs> yeah, you'd want to be something, anything other than a finch. Because what happens to the finches is not good. What do we got here? The Red King's Dream. That's a beer. 
Very chill monitors, though. All right, Lewis. Why didn't he get a... Why didn't he get a... Have we seen Lewis's little shrine thing? Doesn't seem like he has one. Oh, well. Has Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind yeah. began to wander. This I asked him so to describe clever. it. This is such, 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 such clever gameplay. Like, he's still working at the cannery, his mind somewhere else. He said he started small. And you have to control both at the same time. Whoops. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. Oops. Bats. And toads. <laughs> Dragons. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. It's just he so took it very compelling. seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. So he kind of withdrew and sort of created a, his own little world. Oh, go on. Right. I think for me, this was the most memorable kind of sequence of the entire game. But he found something more. Ooh. I worried about him then. So the world's getting a little bit more elaborate. Daydreaming at the cannery. I mean, can you blame him? I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Oh, and the world gets a little I bigger I even every encouraged time. him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. So tragic, though. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh my gosh. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. It's just and kind of mesmerizing, mesmerizing, isn't it? As the real world kind of just disappears little bit by little bit. songs for them to play. We talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Fish. He no longer spoke at the cannery. his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. 
He held an election for mayor. What? And he won. I mean, it isn't the place is named after you. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Oh. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. It's kind of like a video game. The game is within games. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Started to. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. So, he kind of came back to reality for a brief second there. When his mom was talking In to Lewisburg, him. he heard rumors of a Beautiful prince. The prince was on his own quest for rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Yay! Oops. Oops. Dang it. It's hard to steer this ship. There we go, we're gonna do this one. There and I. Dang it! He followed the sound of his... Electric sitar. Electric sitar. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Okay, and we're fully, we can't even see the cannery anymore. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh Did he? At this point? At least he just didn't, didn't care. He's happier there. But he was so proud of having created it. Clever. Very, very clever. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. My emperor? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. But he was still so young. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. began to forget the world we know. Oh gosh. Grim, 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 grim. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker.
See, these are more like the size of actual salmon IRL, aren't they? Like, salmon are huge. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. What's him? Who are we? Who are we? Who are we then? Are we himself? Oh, we're the we're the prince, Lewis. Hmm. So where are we going? Oh no. I still thought I could save him. Oof. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. He shouldn't have still been working at the cannery, like... <sighs> the palace would be packed with his companions. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Oh my god. So that was suicide, it seems like. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Hmm. So wait, is he the last? No, Dawn and Edie, we still have to go. Gosh, poor Lewis. Well, poor everyone, really. Poor everyone. Jeez. Okay. Um. All right. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. Mm. Probably she had enough until of losing kids. Before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. To say no? Don't know. I wish we'd stayed. Really? But I understand why we left. Why would you want to stay? My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What's this? Oh, Edie's birthday. Edie had... Edie brought... brought the whole average up by quite a few decades. She had good innings. What's this? Oops. Okay. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Oh dear. Maybe it should have come sooner. Imagine having to slap all this way to get to your bedroom. It's quite far. Uh, oh. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. 
moment here. Sneak it a little corner right at the top of the entire house. Oh, she made little. These are little figures like Lewis had. Sharks and frogs and. Oh, Norwegian folktales. Got like a little piece of everyone up here. Oh dear. Okay, let's find out what. Is that, what is that? Oh, it's a pen. That was a tiny little sword. Okay. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, three you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. <sighs> I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Ooh, ooh. Yes, they do have to argue now. power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the shrines. library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Okay. Or that Edie had a key to it. Don't tell me Edie was crawling through here, or did she just open it for you? afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. Mm -hmm. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Oh dear. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? What's this? The mysteries of death in the afterlife. Milton Lewis, run, run, are you here? The field, the field of people, Odin, the night you were born. Okay. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Okay, let's have a look at this. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. Oh dear. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Oh, wow, yeah. Pretty far out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Oh, my God. God, it smelled awful. Yeah. You know? I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. So we're... So we're... When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Uh, danger. Danger ops. Tide's gonna come back in. Well, we know it doesn't, do we? No, we know it doesn't because this was when Edith was born. I got turned around. Y'all really love dancing with death. For a while, I wondered. Mm -hmm. I started seeing things. I'd forgotten had ever existed. There's the text. Over there. I'm just gonna head towards that. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. What are all these things? 
furniture from the or old house. maybe place. I came back to them. What a strange sight. Just a just a house on the ocean. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and Edith, what are you doing in here? Uh oh. It's mine. Edith. Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. Oh dear. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Bye, Edie. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Oh, gosh. Ugh. After that, we moved around a lot. It's running my hand out the car window. We both tried to make the best of it. Whee! Careful. Haven't you seen her at My mom doesn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Yikes. Until I found out about you. Uh, baby! I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Just making my way down the birth canal. I just want to meet you. BRB. And tell you all these stories myself. Whee! But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh man. Edith. There you go. I mean, wow. It's a. Uh, oh. Sweet. It's a very bittersweet tale. Like, just, um, I like the, the last message. It's like, however brief your time is. Because all of our time is pretty brief really, in the grand scheme of things. Just, um, yeah. It's, it's a, it is a miracle that we, that any of us ever had it. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that little, uh, that little trip, uh, that we had with, uh, in the Finch house. Fairly brief, but I thought it was perfect for just a two-part Let's Play, um, over the bank holiday. And yeah, like I said, I think the, um, I mean, all of the, all of the little gameplay sequences, very, very simple, very, very effective, you know, conveying a lot of feelings, um, with not, not a lot of, you know, uh, input, um, it is a very linear experience, of course, but, yeah, 
that, that cannery sequence I think just stands out to me as being just very 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 good um, very clever uh, just kind of yeah just talking like a very very sort of clever way of conveying all of the complexities of of life and of families and all the rest of it oh dogs but yes we've got um we've got lots of other stuff uh coming up this week um some of which i can't talk about um some of which i can we've got uh we've got more project zomboid uh coming um which uh, zoe is working on right now and then some secret stuff as well so yes please stick with us um and you know subscribe if you haven't already i'm sure you have that's why you're here um and i will see you all very very soon uh, bye bye